Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the United States in Little Hickville, USA, Belfair, Washington. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am working on my Monday series for November 2024. Yes, I'm moving a few things. I just had to grab a few things. I don't want to forget where I put them. So hopefully I can see them now. Um, so November 2024 Monday series video number four. That means this is a fun fold, everybody. So let's show you what we are concentrating on for the month of November. It is the Autumn Expressions bundle. So like I've said so far with all the videos, my aunt purchased the uh, stamp set. I purchased the dies. We purchased them at two different times, but it worked out really, really well. Um, <laughs> for both of it was it was a win-win situation right so i'm going to set these aside let me show you what they look like they're on page 37 in the catalog it was part of the splendid autumn sweet collection no we none of we neither one of us got the paper or any of these just the stamp and dies here's a couple of samples that you could have done i did do my case of card from this one <coughs> Pardon me. So let me go over what we are going to use. Um, I'm going to read it to you first. Let's go over. Let's see. Card base. So we're going to do a gatefold for this card. And um, so a basic gatefold. Now, I don't know if I have shown you this. I've done this. This is a little recipe box, right? A little one those recipe card little plastic sleeves they wouldn't fit this either I did try as they were really large ones but this I got at a thrift store for like a couple of bucks and I have basic uh, card folds in here this is a gatefold basic gatefold so it's at five and a half by eight and a half and you scored it two and one eighth and six and three eighths or you scored it two and one eighth on each end so that's what I uh, That's what I have done here. So it's five and a half by eight and a half, and it scored it two and one eighth and two and one eighth on this side. There's a wee little gap in there, and that's going to work out just fine. So that's our card base. This is in cream, very vanilla. You take your pick. So we are using a book page for our DSP guys. Everybody should have some kind of book. If you don't go to a thrift store, the library sells books. You know, usually the libraries will have books for sales. Pick out an old book and grab yourself a book for, for scrapbooking, for um, junk journaling, for paper crafting. They work great. So I have two pieces for layer number one that are two by five and three eighths. Yes, I know the eight thingy, but you know what? This works really well because I just wanted a little bit. Let me show you. Um, I just wanted a little wee little border of vanilla around the edge. See that? Just a little bit of cream vanilla, whichever color you want to go with um, around the edge. And I am using the retired soft suede. Guys, I love soft suede. I love to do... Um, I love to use up what I have, and I have a lot of soft suede. You could use Kraft. You could use Pecan Pie. Early Espresso, you could get away with that, too. It's going to be a bit darker. So there are options um, for this. I'm going to use stuff that I have, and soft suede is one of my favorite colors, especially for a card like this, especially when I'm going to do a bit of a natural uh, monochromatic thing. So then I have two book pages, DSP for my choice, and those are one and three quarters by five and three eighths. Now I have two inside layers. Here we go. The first being soft suede again, or whatever color cardstock you're using, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Then a piece for our sentiment is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And that's going to go on the inside of our card. So for our AED, meaning our autumn expression dies, let's go over what we are going to be using. So we're going to use a full frame. I have three chains. I wanted a really, really thick 
um, maybe if I put this next to you, you'll see that it's quite thick. So I did three layers of chains. I did two in soft suede and one in gold foil, and I already put those together. And then what you heard me getting earlier was I laid this punch on it to make sure it was flattened out. And I did that with two. Now this one actually was a white scrap and I put two white pieces together and then the gold foil because I had already put my soft suede packet of paper away. So I have those two pieces we used. Then I did <coughs> several, using scrap paper, several of this leaf, several of this leaf in both vellum, soft suede, and gold. And then the frame, the frame I did in soft suede. I did it in gold foil and I did it in very vanilla or cream, whichever you want to use. And I'm going to show you what else I did to that. So that goes over all of those. Put this aside as well. And we're going to be using that old weathered um, background stamp to distress this, make this look a little bit more rustic. That's the look that I'm going for. So this is what I've kind of been using. I kind of like this. So you'll see here's my scrap pieces, right? That you can see that I did my die cutting out of, right? So here is one of the insert pieces. Actually, the frames are over there. So this piece was in here. This is where I got my gold chain from. Let me save my little washi tape here. I got one of my leaves from here. Now this piece is still good, so I'm going to keep that. Um, and then what I did is since this had a hole in it, I went ahead and I cut around on that dotted line because all I want is that little border. And we are going to glue that down after I stamp. Um, what am I stamping? Grateful for you on this piece. I'm going to have this little border of gold around the edge. This piece we're not using. No, this piece, I'm going to just put this piece on it just because I used it to die cut and there's nothing else going to be used for. We're just going to back it up and we're going to stick this all in here. Close there up. There we go. And then you can see all my leaves. I know I may not use all of them, but there you go. You get to see all my little scraps. This one, the this little die moved around, so I got smart. Washi taped that little thing down. It stayed down then. Okay, so I think we can get started. I want to get started by um, doing my stamping. And you know, we're going to stamp on, stamp off, kind of that deal here. And this is one of those newer. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the tap, 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 and not the rub-a-dub-dub -dub here. And we are going to probably try to figure out how I can do this on that. All right. So let's just get started. Roll up the sleeves. Time to stamp. So tap, 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 tap. All right. So we want to take off. Right. Then we're going to add some. <clears throat> add some. Give it a nice little rub down. Hmm. I might do that again because that is not as dark as I would like. So we're going to do the opposite side now. We're going to leave it darker. Sometimes you never know until you do it. So we can either use one side or the other. Pop that down, that side. <coughs> no, I'm not sick. I just have a chronic cough that just, you know, it is what it is. Today I'm going to take Hank. I don't know if I told you this already. Oh, I like that much better. That looks really, really good. 
All right, so I really like that, but I want it lightly on this one. So we are gonna, cause I don't know about, you know, we have some in the middle, so we're gonna take it off, plop this down in the center. I'm pushing a little bit on it to hopefully pick up more than what it would have. Oh, that's going to look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So next we're going to do it again. Just adding layers of texture by doing this. I probably should have kept it. Mm, yeah, we're going to have to do it again. We're not going to rub it off this time. All right, so we're going to put this one. I'm wondering how I do this. All right. Now there is a little bit that's not going to get on there, so I'm going to have to scooch it over. I just laid that face down on my nice mat. So I'm going to turn it this way and pick up a little bit there. Now it's all on there. Do it one more time. I still miss that little edge, so we're going to have to catch that. We're going to do it on this side. <clears throat> First, I'm going to pick up this little bit. And then I'm going to come here and pick up that little edge. Now it's all covered. So now I do want to go one more time. We are going to pick this up. Because we're going to do, I want to really pick it up. I want to do this piece really lightly. If I don't like it, I can always use this side. So barely rub it down. I just want a little bit on there. Oh yes, really lightly. Because then you can write your message. So my background stamp is done. That's good. And then we're going to still use our scratch pad. This, we're going to use our two pieces here and we're going to stamp. So we're going to stamp some of this wheat here. I love doing things like this and I love this color tone. You guys know this. And I thought we would stamp the leaf, which I did not <clears throat> get out. Oops, wrong block. So let's add a few falling leaves. like so. Let's try to reverse it a bit. There we go. So those are done. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside while we're at it. <clears throat> I do like that. I'm going to add a little bit of a leaf there. Just that. Oh, we still have an envelope. I didn't pull the envelope. So we're going to use this one because it's right and available to us. Let's go ahead and stamp on the back. I'm 
I'm like, so what do we have? Oh, I didn't stamp the sentiment for the inside. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. <clears throat> then on the envelope. We're going to do change is beautiful. We are going to cut off some of that script just so it's not so big. And we are going to stamp off and do a leaf, stamp off, make sure it's stamped off and do a leaf. Okay, envelope done. That's done. This is done. What else do we have? Oh, our sentiment, of course, which is going to be grateful for you. I want this really nice and dark. I'm just holding it down, letting that ink sink in. Hopefully it's going to be really, really dark. I don't have another piece to start over again. That came out great. Yes. We could do... A little do I want to do like a little leaf there no no because of what I have to go on so we're gonna leave that as is and we're all done stamping I'm just gonna move all my stamps with ink over there this oh I still need the ink pad because now we're gonna sponge I was checking. This one doesn't have soft suede, but I have several that are soft suede. So we're going to, oh, we're putting gold foil. So what we need to do is I'm going to blend up and in because I want it. Yeah. I need to bring it up because remember, I'm going to have that gold on here. So it needs to really come in. Yes, pecan pie will give you the same effect, just a different coloring. Like I said, I make cards for me. I like using some of my favorite things, and this is one of them. Oh, that just looks so pretty. Okay, so now I can just go around. So I think we're going to go see Wild Robot. But there is something paranormal or something. Hank is looking that one up. He didn't hear that one. So I'm not sure which one yet. And also depends which one I told him. After I'm done here, we'll look into it. I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend that up, up into that a little bit more, just like there and up around the corners. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, that one's done. Now we do have to do these, and these are just thin book pages. So if you put them together, it does tend to help. And if you pull them with your fingers and make them a little taut, it will help a little as well. <clears throat> that thump thump that's because of how I'm pulling it with these fingers and I'm supporting it in the back so we do have to and I can't couldn't do this before didn't do so well there let's do it one more time ready here we go so pull it apart the corners and the ends I think the hardest to do. <clears throat> this really isn't a difficult card. Oh, so, 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 so pretty. Okay, so now we are all done and we can put this card together. So 
all of our bits and pieces. And we are going to start by gluing our panels together. Maybe. Oh, I just used this last night. Let's see. There is an awful fly guys buzzing around my head right now. And I will tell you, my daughter bought this really cool fly swatter, which is not a swatter at all. And it's an electrocutor. <clears throat> you turn this thing on and it's got a light on it that attracts them. But it also, one day I'll have to show you guys this thing. Um, it's not going to be useful much longer. Uh, but it it can you just have to go like this you know and you can it'll electrocute the fly like this but also the head rotates this way so you can just go like this to the fly it's really cool yes hank is the great fly killer now <laughs> and you turn the there's an on and off switch for the you know power and it's usb charged and it has its little cradle as it's in it's amazing yes it is so, this fly will not last long. I think I would go tell Hank, hey, great fly killer. Go kill the fly. It's driving me crazy in my stamp room. Oh. You turn it off and you hold the thing over the garbage can and the flies just fall right off of the, the face of it. It's really kind of cool. All right, let's get this one onto this one. <clears throat> of course, this one will go easier because it has something where the glue actually sticks to. Fly, your minutes are numbered, I'm telling you. You don't have days, hours, nothing. Oh. Did you guys see it? He just flew in front of the camera. That's the one. He's not going to last. I promise you. He will be out of here soon. If he's smart, he's going to leave my stamp room. Actually, I think it's quite fun. Hank is like, it lights up. It has power. I mean, what more could a kid want, right? So on the front, we just want, oh, I absolutely love the book. Book pages, who knew? An old book that you don't want anymore, you don't know what to do with. A free book, give it some new life, put it on a card, a scrapbook. So much you can do with the book. I think he left. It's quiet again. Oh, okay. So there we go with this. <clears throat> now let's get all my bits and pieces. Now nope, he's back. Silly fly. Silly, silly, silly thing. My bone folder is missing though. Oh, it's right in front of me. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to crease these edges really well. I didn't do that before. And I'm not sure exactly, okay, this one has a score line in it. 
right here. So we probably need to, yes, fold that carefully. And I'm thinking that that piece, this piece folds into that. At least that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this goes like that. Let me take a look. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at their picture because I'm not crazy really about that. But let's see. Yes, it does. That's how that goes. So <clears throat> that's going to make it kind of bulky because of how I did that. So what I'm going to do is... I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's get these in place. I want the gold. The gold is simply going to go right here. Either he's back or a no one has joined me. The door is open. It's a really bright, sunny, sunny day. And it's warmer than you would think course it is not the day that you're watching this you have to remember that okay I need to get the glue off of the foil Okay, now this is going to sit in there. Or is it going to go this way? Oh, Mr. Fly, you are such a bother. That way there is, does that one go behind there? Nope, that's the same size as this one. So this one has to go this way. There is a certain way that these go in here. There. <clears throat> All right. So that's going to go in there like so. So I can glue the frame together because this then is going to get popped up on something. So let's glue the, fl fl the flame. Let's glue the frame down. I realize I probably have more glue in there than needed, but we'll clean it up here in a minute. All right, I can glue. That's the one that goes inside there. <coughs> I knew I had it. This one sits inside that one like so. So we can glue that one back in its rightful place. <clears throat> Sorry about hitting those on the table. All this work for a little frame, I know. But it should be turn out really darling when we're done. Just a lot of pieces to make it turn out the way I want. Okay, so that piece is back inside so that when this sits in there, it looks right. This piece is now going to go behind this piece. So we'll Put glue here. <clears throat> and that's going to sit on top of this, which we are going to put glue on here because I have the hole there <laughs> where I die cut stuff out of. Now 
Now I have two. The buzzing has begun. Buzz your hearts out because you will not make it very long. Now I'm going to turn it because that's supposed to be the top. So we will continue that. All of this just for this little, my aunt calls it a purse. Okay, I do want to get the chain on it before I go to the leaves. But I'm thinking, I want this off. I just do. I don't think this is necessary. Oh, might be if I could cut it straight. All right. So this then, I want it sitting like that is what I want. And how am I going to get that to stay there? Hmm. Glue this to the back of it? Probably. Let's see. Where there is a will, there is a way. There's one. Here's number two, which I'm just going to trim off that end. So I just cut them off and I'm surgically just reapplying them in a different position, right? And then here is my chain, and I'm going to make my chain go like so, right there. And I like that a whole lot better. You could put it, oh, it looks good actually behind it. But I like it in the front. Yes, we are going to glue this down right here and right here. Thank goodness the glue dries clear. So there is my little purse, as my aunt calls it. Oh, look at that. Really, really cute. So now we can move. All of these have little uh, backings on them, little glue dots, not backings. So next I have my gold embroidery thread that I think I will do a bow and I don't think I'm going to need all of those but I do need a bow like a triple bow like this to go right there. Or do I need to, I just cut it. For goodness sakes, I just cut it. Now I'm thinking maybe I don't need so much, but that is so, so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to set that aside because I'm thinking now I just need to make a regular bow. That means bow maker time. Or I could do a double bow with the bow maker. Big bow. So two by six dollar store. Um, dowels, a drill bit, and of course a drill. And my husband just drilled them every quarter of an inch. And this is an old two by six that he had. Just, you know, out in his stuff. You know, 
my husband's kind of like me. I might have a bunch of crafting stuff, but he has a bunch of leftover wood pieces, all kinds of stuff like that. So that's all that is. And then he drilled holes here. All right, here's our bow, which I know he doesn't ever like the, this, the thread. It's not happy when you put it on a the bow maker, but we have a bow, which still does not want to. So we're gonna get, let's get this in place first. So right there, and um, let's just tear tape it in place. And that bow is going to drive me to distraction. Okay, so one here. And we're going to need a little bit more. You could use dimensionals, but it's already pretty thick. Because this has got lots of layers. So I don't think it needed any more. And I forgot about that being like that. So that will be seen. Hmm. That will be seen. Hold on. I've got a tray with bits and pieces of this die. So what do I have that I could cover the back with it? So you don't see all that mess. So we can go like this. Then you won't see it. There. Fix. Easy fix, right? Now we got to do more tear tape. Well, it might help if it had some glue. Right there. Right? That might help it. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to put tear tape on half. Why? Because I can, right? <laughs> Why tear tape? Mm, because I can. It's right here. I started with it. We're just going to finish with this. It'll be quick, painless, unless I get it stuck in the wrong place, which I doubt that. So there's that. Let's check it out. Oh, so much better. I would hate it to, to have seen that. That would have not been well. Yes. Why do you want to be difficult little? I don't think I pulled tight enough or something. Okay, let's do it. The We're just going to do it this way. That didn't work either. I'm having a day with the bow. I don't want it three. I want two. Maybe I'll do a single. We'll see. Maybe I won't use it. I don't know, but I know I want these. So I have gold. Ooh, 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 la, la. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. But do I want... See, originally I thought top and bottom there. Get that. That's got to come off some dried glue. But now I'm thinking, I don't need all that. I just need... What if we just do a cluster like this? I don't even think I need any more gold. I think that's going to be it. All those are just extras. Okay, this one has that. I get the one that doesn't have a glue dot on it, of course. I missed one. So there's one right there. And this one and those others will just be extras that I keep. Straighten out a little bit. And then it already has, look at that, it has a glue dot for a bow. Now, come on. We need a gold bow. Even if it's just a simple bow. It needs a bow. Right now, I'd go for any bow. What if I did the cord bow? not the shiny gold that I like. But 
that'll probably stay tied better than that one. Finally! And it looks like it's upside down, so we got to tweak it a little. I read a really good book the last two days. Didn't take me long to finish. It was a short, little, sweet little book called Light on the Snow. Quick little, interesting little read. Different book for me. I mean, I like to read just about anything, it seems like. So the question is, do I want anything else on there? And I'm going to tell you absolutely. Oh, yeah. We want the gold. We the Stella. <laughs> course we do. You know what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Let's get this out. Oh, big bits of gold. Come on, put it in the center. Why aren't you going in everywhere? Last time I did this, guys, I had this on my glasses for days and every time it's everywhere but where I want it. No, there's some on there. Okay. It was on my glasses and I would take my glasses off to clean them and I couldn't see where to clean them. So I had to get a pair of reading glasses of my husband's to clean my actual glasses. So there, so it has little spots and drops of glittery wink Estella in the gold. So that's it guys. I hope you guys like this one. I know it probably took me a bit longer, but grateful for you. Cute little card. This is heavy enough it keeps it closed because of all those layers of cardstock glued together on this. So that, yeah, you hear that? That's heavy. So I hope you guys like this one. I sure do. I absolutely love it. This It is simple. There was just, you know, me trying to figure out. I know that it would work. I just had to get it there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, the gold bow thing was a little bit trying today. But now I'm going to go get dressed and I'm going to get Hank and me some um, lunch and him and I are going to the movies. Yay! So thanks for watching everybody and I hope you all come back and see me in my wonderland. Bye bye for now.